In this paper, we will present a frequency domain technique to filter normal maps. The following clips of our system were captured in real time on a machine with an NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GTX graphics card. In this example, we show a real time zoom into the bunny model using our aligned VMF algorithm. The normal map has bumps with different colors and some high frequency noise, which we illustrate here by moving the directional light. We can zoom out smoothly while correctly filtering detail. Comparing with the ground truth result, we see that our method is quite accurate. Note that ground truth has been generated offline while our method is rendered in real time. Alternative methods such as standard bit mapping or even the approximation by Toxfig generally do not yield correct results. We now show another example created with our spherical harmonic method and GPU-based anisotropic filtering. Our method preserves details for distant regions quite well, as demonstrated in this comparison to ground truth. By contrast, standard GPU anisotropic filtering breaks down in distant regions. Our method is based on a theory of normal map filtering as convolution. Here we see a v-groove structure encompassing two pixels. Each pixel has a single normal which we convolve with the BRDF of the surface to obtain an effective BRDF. As we zoom out, a single pixel now encompasses two different surface normals and filtering is required. Standard bit mapping simply averages these two normals, leading to a darker, incorrect result. In this paper, we preserve the normal distribution function, showing that it can be convolved with the BRDF to get accurate results. One implementation of our convolution framework is as a GPU shader using spherical harmonics. We can support many low-frequency BRDFs, including factored representations of all of the measured materials from the Matusik database, as we show in these examples. Notice that the BRDF can be changed on the fly. As we zoom out, our method correctly filters the normal maps. We now show a dynamic example with a sequence from physical simulation of a corduroy-like piece of cloth draping over a sphere. Note that we can change the lighting in view while maintaining a smooth filtering. Here we show a side-by-side -side comparison demonstrating that our method is virtually indistinguishable from ground truth. For high frequency BRDFs, we develop a novel algorithm in terms of spherical von Mises Fischer distributions, also called VMFs. We have a normal distribution function at each texel in the normal map to which we fit radially symmetric VMF lobes using spherical expectation maximization. Here, we have used increasing numbers of VMF lobes to represent the normal distribution of this teapot. At the top, we visualize the NDF of a representative texel in our normal map. As our NDF representation improves in accuracy, we are better able to capture details, such as the anisotropy on the lid. Our VMF rendering algorithm can be efficiently implemented on the GPU, and using about six peaks, we can obtain an excellent agreement with ground truth images that take seconds to generate. Here, we render each lobe in a different color for illustrative purposes. Now we show a practical application of our VMF algorithm in rendering an interesting scene with a variety of normal and texture mapped dinosaur models. This example clearly demonstrates the interactive capabilities of our normal map filtering method on complex scenes. Notice that we can change reflectance in real time, going from a highly specular wet appearance to a diffuse dry one. Finally, since VMF lobes are easily rotated, we can combine normal mapping with dynamic low frequency environment map lighting. This example shows real-time rendering of an armadillo model with 400,000 polygons. Here, we are using 6 VMF lobes per texel and order 8 spherical harmonics for the lighting. Besides zooming into and out of the bumpy surface, we can rotate the lighting, all at interactive rates. To summarize our main contributions, we present a framework for normal map filtering in the frequency domain. Under this framework, we present practical algorithms for normal map filtering using spherical harmonics for low frequency BRDFs or using the von Mises Fischer distribution for higher frequency BRDFs. We also demonstrate frequency domain normal map filtering under complex lighting. 